Hi friends, so we are going to discuss another very very important theorem in circles. This particular theorem is going to help you prove many other theorems as well as you will be able to solve many problems related to circles and its properties. So let us understand this theorem. It says the perpendicular from the center of a circle to a chord bisects the chord right you understand what a perpendicular is so you are dropping a perpendicular from the center o in this case onto a chord pq and the foot of the perpendicular is r as shown in the picture you have to prove that pr is equal to rq that's what is this word bisect means okay uh, now let's prove it so what's given it is given that OR is perpendicular to PQ, right? Right, and O is the center. O is the center of circle. Okay, you have to prove to prove that PR is equal to RQ. Then we will say that OR bisects the chord. Okay, how to prove? Proof is very straightforward, and uh, we know that we have to use something called congruence of triangles, which we have studied in this grade. So we have to basically prove that PR is equal to RQ. So whenever there are two items, two geometrical elements to be proven to be equal, we have one methodology, and that is you know if we somehow prove that they are corresponding parts of two congruent triangles, then we are done. So it looks like they are part of two congruent triangles. So let's see what all. So if you look closely, triangle OPR. So you can write in triangle OPR and triangle OQR. I have maintained the order of the vertices. So you have to be very, very careful about it. So OPR and OQR. So clearly we see we have to find two triangles, two different triangles. PR should be part of one triangle, RQ should be part of the other triangle. Then, and if we somehow prove that PR and RQ are the corresponding parts of those two triangles, and uh, you know those two triangles are also congruent, then our job is done. So it looks like yes, it is like that only. So hence, let's evaluate these two triangles. So in, tri in triangle OPR and OQR, what is very obvious is OP is equal to OQ. Both are radii radii of the same circle of the same circle isn't it radius of the same circle radii of the same circle are always equal that's the virtue of the circle op is equal to oq now or is equal to or common this is a common side to both the both the triangles okay and angle o o r p is equal to angle o r q and both are equal to 90 degrees right why because we know that or is perpendicular to pq this was given here you see right so hence by which property guys if you see there's a 90 degrees there is a hypotenuse this r is the hypotenuse of both and other side so hence we say triangle opr is congruent to triangle oqr again Order of the vertices is very very important. Okay, therefore we will write PR is equal to QR. Isn't it? Why? This is C P C T, right? And that's what we wanted to prove. So PR is equal to QR, hence proved. So what do we learn out of this theorem? That a, a perpendicular from the center dropped onto a chord not just any perpendicular the perpendicular has to be dropped from the center so if you drop another perpendicular like that that will not bisect the chord pq okay only that chord which is or uh, only that perpendicular which is dropped from the center onto the chord will bisect the chord okay and we just proved this in fact if you see the converse is also true which we'll prove in the next session so the converse of this theorem will be that if you join the midpoint of a chord to the center that that line will be perpendicular to the pq or to the chord isn't it
once again if you join the midpoint so you know we prove that r is the midpoint of pq but let's say r is given to be the midpoint of pq and you join it to the center then you have to prove that the that line segment that is or is perpendicular to the pq that will be the converse statement of this given theorem so we will study we will study that converse in the next session